हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द चैप्टर नंबर एट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स दैट इज डेसिमल एंड दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर एट डेसिमल नाउ व्हाट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस चैप्टर नाउ फर्स्ट वील अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ एनी नंबर इज गिवन टू अस वी डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैट नंबर इन देयर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ देयर प्लेस वैल्यूज सो वट आर द प्लेस वैल्यूज we have learn about place values that they are ones tens hundred thousand and maybe so on but this was the left hand side of the place value of a numbers but what about the right hand side that means in the right hand side we also have uh, numbers they are called in decimals that means if the number are come in decimal how they are coming we uh, we call it 10th 100th 1000th so here it is i mentioned that if i take a number suppose If I take a number, uh, four, five, six, point twelve, point this decimal means that these are the numbers. They have a place value. This is ones. This is tens. This is hundred, and this is tenth. That means this number is one by tenth, and this is hundredth. That means it is two by hundredth. So this will become the place value for decimals. Now. come to the next topic that is fraction to decimal how a number can convert from fraction to decimal suppose if you want to convert 5 by 10 into decimal so 5 by 10 could be converted as we all know that uh, if any number having uh, 10 100 or maybe 1000 in their uh, denominator so straight away we just put the point after the uh, number given how many zeros are there suppose here only one zero is given so we'll put the decimal after one number so it will be 0.5 so the answer will be 0.5 if we are adding a number with a decimal number so what will happen suppose if we are adding 72 plus 0.5 so it will became this number will be remains as it is and this part will be added in the form of decimal so it will became 72.5 similarly if you want to convert any decimal to fraction how we can convert a decimal to fraction suppose i have taken an example that 0.7 we have to convert this 0.7 into a fraction so first of all uh, we will remove uh, the decimal if you remove the decimal we'll put one in the denominator and how many numbers uh, how many numbers are after the decimal there are only one number so we'll put the zero only one zero after that one so it uh, now it became in the form of form of fraction 7 by uh, 10 similarly if a number uh, having 7.3 it is 7.3 that means uh, if we'll uh, remove again we'll remove the decimal so we'll put the one in the denominator and how many numbers after the decimal there are only one number so it will be zero so the fraction will be 73 by 10 this is the conversion of decimal to fraction now come to the next point that is decimal on a number line if you want to represent a decimal on a number line suppose i have taken the number 1.3 we have to represent this 1.3 on a number line we just have to see that we we all know about the number line number line is started from 0 1 2 3 up to infinity and in the left hand side the uh, negative integers the, there will be minus 1 up to minus infinity but uh, in between 0 and 1 there are Uh, 10 more equal parts. That means from 0 to 1 there are 10 more equal parts. From 1 to 2 there are 10 more equal parts. That means if you want to represent 1.3 on a number line, so first we'll reach up to 1. We'll reach up to 1, and now we just have to put only that three point, three decimal point, one, two, and three. So this is the uh, third decimal point. So we can say that on number line we'll represent one, 1.3 here. because it is 1 is a complete number and the uh, 0.3 there 10 equal parts so we have uh, taken from their 10 equal part we have taken only three parts so it will be 1.3 now again this is an important point that the value of zeros in decimal value of zeros in decimal that means what uh, as we all know if you want to write 3 see suppose i have written a 3 here so if we put the zeros in their left hand side so will there be any change in their value no it will not change any value if i put the zero after the 3 so it will change the value of 3 uh, similarly in the same way 
if you want to that means we can say that if you put the zeros in the left hand side of any number it will not harm anything it will not change any value uh, but if you put the zeros in the right hand side of any number suppose uh, 4 is taken here and if I am putting 0 it will become 40 so the value has been changed if I have written already 4 here and 0 should be put it from the left hand side but the value will not be changed but in the decimal form this uh, phenomena is quite to change but that means what if I am writing 0 0.2 so we can put how many zeros we want after the number 0 0.2 if I want to write this type of zeros there no there will not be any change in their value but if you are putting the zeros in the left hand side of a number that that means it is decimal 2 if you start uh, putting zeros you here in the left hand side so this value and this value is not equal they are both values are different so we can say that in decimal form if you are putting the uh, zeros in the left hand side so their value will be changed but in the numbers if you are putting zeros in the left hand side their value will not be changed.